for now. When I woke up to rain this morning, I didn't think it was going to be a good day, but it ended up being kind of all right. See, there's always a light yeah, at the end of the tunnel. Lining. That's why our eyes in, are in front of our heads so we can look forward and not back. There you uh, go. That's any more cliches? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it really is getting better right before yeah. our very eyes, Katie. Welcome to a Saturday evening in the Weather Center. Now, all right, before we go any farther, there are a couple of showers that we have to talk about. Here's Storm Team 4 Max Radar sweeping across southeastern Wisconsin. And notice the smattering. I mean, very select areas getting any of that rain. The biggest cluster is up to our northwest uh, from Ozaki and Sheboygan into Washington counties. A couple other small showers approaching the Wisconsin-Illinois border. But let's zoom into that one because that's the most significant shower going on. It's just right around West Bend and then spreading eastward into western sections of Ozaki County. You folks in Port and toward Grafton may encounter some raindrops as we go through the next 15, 20 minutes. Good news is this is all going to dissipate rather rapidly. The other good news is if you're not seeing any of those raindrops, and most of us are not, we're seeing skies like this from our Kenosha Tower Cam. And you can see just a smattering of clouds out there, but plenty of blue as well. And once that sun sets, get ready for the drops to depart. The winds will wind down. I mean, it was really blustery out there after that cold front went on by with winds gusty to 20 to 30 miles an hour. That's really going to sink down and get ready for a ton of sun to return as we head into our Sunday. Outside right now, outside across southeastern Wisconsin, readings dipping significantly behind that front. It's only 61 degrees in Fond du Lac. Still holding on to 70 degrees in Racine and also in Kenosha, 63 in Waukesha, matching the reading in Burlington. The dew points all across southeastern Wisconsin in the low to mid 50s, which is very comfortable level of humidity for all of us. And notice that northwest breeze behind the front, still blustery anywhere between 15 and 20 miles an hour. As we widen out the view, notice all across the upper Midwest, temperatures very similar in the 60s to near 70 degrees. So we'll call this an average air mass that's going to stay in place. Here's a look at the satellite and radar combination. Low pressure just off to our east, counterclockwise flow. There's going to be rapid clearing as we go through the night tonight. And then a couple of quiet days courtesy of that high pressure. Across southeastern Wisconsin right now, again, just the smattering of raindrops moving on out. Future forecast shows they're gone by the time the sun sets around 9 o'clock. We'll see clearing skies, and that's the way it'll stay as we go into the next couple of days. So for tonight, the isolated raindrops get out of the way, then becoming mainly clear, very cool, down to 50. Then for tomorrow on our Sunday, mostly sunny and seasonal, back up to near 74. Here comes your Storm Team 4 seven-day forecast. Get ready for another winter picture perfect on Monday. Showers and storms rolling in Monday night into Tuesday. Don't think it's an all day washout, but certainly some scattered precipitation around. And look at this on Wednesday. Our high temperature is only near 67 degrees. That's actually quite cool. Yeah. And kind of surprising after all the warm weather we've had so far. Yeah, but I, I don't mind it actually. No, it it'll be feels refreshing. Good. Right yeah, now. definitely. Always a bright side still. Thanks, Scott. You bet. Well,